Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. This is Operation Soaring Altars, our second mission. We need to sabotage a transmitter. Don't know what that means, but we'll try and figure it out. Uh, Dr. Sung Min Han, as an engineer, uh, is up for grabs. We're taking out the first four. Sharpshooter, Grenadier, Ranger, and the Specialist. I just want to get a positive start to the campaign, hopefully. Uh, being this a new mission type, I'm not sure what to expect. So, uh, that's Bossman, Phoenix, Airmed, and Kestrel. Let's, uh, let's do this, shall we? We've got a bunch of grenades, we've got a flashbang, we have the gremlin for some aid protocol. We've got the sword, we've got all sorts of stuff. Let's, uh, buckle up. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Okay. Touching down. Our readings indicate that Advent just powered up some kind of psionic transmitter Tunnels. <laughs> okay. Oh, no yeah, this is new. It, yet, it shouldn't be that well guarded. If we can take it down quickly, Advent's operations across this entire region will be in disarray. Okay, so plant X4 charges to destroy psionic network, prevent the transmitter from completing its transmission. All right. Tunnels. Maybe we shouldn't have brought a sniper. After all, <laughs> tunnels, snipers, usually a terrible idea. Unless it's just one long tunnel, and then Advent we're good. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Jeez. Okay, so we know about target preview. These two are working together like a well-oiled machine. As long as we keep them close to each other in the field. They'll reap various tactical benefits as their bond continues to grow. I don't know what those tactical benefits include, if it's like increased defense, aim, uh, will, etc. That kind of stuff. We know that they have the, the teamwork skill, so they can grant the action point to the other uh, bond mate once per turn. Um, but yeah. Okay, so four turns until... four turns? Where is this thing? What? Plant X4 charges on the psionic transmitter. D oh, delay the transmission by disabling power relays. Okay, kind of like the nodes from Enemy Within. Um, and neutralize all enemy targets. So we're going to have to motor. We're going to have to motor. Every turn we're going to need to be maxing out our movement pretty much. Relatively close to the right side, but this is right in the middle. So... <sighs> Oh, man. This seems intimidating right off the bat. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's just start right. going. Mike, we're in concealment, so let's see if we can't move as far as possible. Go. Bridget, move you up. Sophia, you can grab the other box there. And Silar, do you want to... What are we working with? We got the door, we've got like a window cutout, some type of archway, looks like bridges, more archways, and then this thing's in a room. Okay, we can do this. Will do. We'll have to try and find these relays along the way. Sophia? Okay. You want to peek here? That doesn't. Got an enemy, squad got an enemy squad here. Oh shit! Hello. Oh what? Are you kidding me? Okay, that's a problem. That is a big problem. This is a pretty good shot with a sniper rifle. Um. But this will trigger two groups right off the bat. But do we have time to dick around? Is the question. I don't think so, honestly. Uh, this is good damage, but... I think our best chance is actually... With Mike. So I'm just thinking, let's say we don't do this and we try to scurry around. We don't know where any nodes are. Then we're already down to two turns? Holy, that seems insane. 
Yeah, we have to go. We have to shoot. Come on, buddy. The big four. All right, we got the big four damage. We've been spotted. Okay, so they scattered. This is intimidating. If we can kill somebody, we we know what the sectoid is going to try to do, most likely. Ooh, I kind of like going in for the slash right off the bat here. We do have somebody up top. Kestrel. I mean, two things. We can either close the door. <laughs> Uh, pretend that they're not around, or we kill him. We can we can kill him with the frag, right? We could kill him with the frag. We've also got Siler. We've got Bridget, who to do anything pretty much has to be the the sword. So let's do that. Oh shit! Do we just trigger something else? Oh, he lives. Oh, there's a node. He lived. <laughs> wow. Okay. He lived. Not... Oh, we've got a node to the right as well. Okay. Let's... We gotta kill something. Bombs away! So he's down. Now, we can move in. We might have a shot on this guy. <sighs> Damn. Orders confirmed. On the move. We could try and pin him with an Overwatch, but he's st we're still flanked, so we kind of need this to hit. And if not, shit. Shot failed to connect. They're on the move. I don't feel so good. Oh man, that could have easily been. One soldier down. You have got to be shitting me. It's inside me! <laughs> this could be a squad wipe coming up. That's a dasher. Okay. How am I gonna get this situation under control? Good question, Iguano. Um, good question. All right. So I think we go for this. Maybe we can get four on one of them. That would be nice. Come on. We got four on one of them. That is nice. We have the flashbang. I almost wonder if it's worth, like, throwing ourselves into the open to try and flashbang down there, because if not... <sighs> we need to get that soldier back so that we can kill two of these guys, right? Um, and he needs to die. I kind of wonder if... What's the slash chance? 88. It's pretty good. Because then we could slash this one next turn and still move. Because we're... Oh, man. To be fair, we can still use the shotgun from here. We're out in the okay. open, but I'm hoping that we can kill this guy. Let's use the shotgun. Secure this. Seems like the only hope that I actually have here. 
Heading out. Is to try and hit this. Can we hit this? I don't... It looks like he's highlighted, but... We gotta hope that it hits. Got him. Alright. And we can come over here. Be in cover and move. flank, but this guy's exposed. But he is disoriented. <sighs> wow. How about that start? Jesus. Venice one five. They're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. Okay, there's another transmitter in the, in the middle. So now we're in the situation where let's do the slash. Well done. Oh As wait. We hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Wait, did that change? I thought we got the slash on the first attack for free. Oh, shit. Okay, well, good news is we have a bunch of nodes around. I wonder if this is where we just say, let's take out a bunch of nodes, buy us some extra time. Try and get into a better position with everybody else. That's I think so. 31 is not amazing. I should probably move up. Oh, this is kind of cool. But then we're forgoing the full cover. Let's bring Siler in. Medkit would be nice right now, I'll tell you that much. Okay, this gives us some breathing room. They're trying to pull back. He's running. All right. Four turns. Looks like we have a power relay here, I think. Is that what that is? That looks the same, yeah. Um... Yes, okay. We still have to get motoring though. Roger that. So we didn't trigger that sectoid. He's Roger probably that. with friends. <laughs> this is like this is intense. Uh we could go right in for this. But that may trigger another group, so let's let's play it cool. You know what? I totally should have taken that out with I'm running low the on pistol. Ammo. That was a mistake. Standing. Uh, should we reload here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, team. Let's go. All those nodes bought us a little bit of time there, but are you shitting me? Okay. I was like, if we catch fire, that would be devastating. Four turns, I almost wonder, oh look, we've got this little perch here too. I almost wonder if we wanna just run in here and see what's going on, use the full cover. You know what, let's do that with Mike. Moving out. All clear. Interesting. So, where's our access points here? It's inside, it's got the door on the front, we've got arches on the sides. Heading to that location. I think we need a reload there. Then I wonder, I'm gonna test what the pathing is like here. Tough to say. I don't know if we can like jump through here. This is half cover, so I don't know if we could jump down that, that way. Either way, we could jump down behind and then go around. So it might not be the end of the world. 
Roger that. Let's get the reload in. Got that one pistol overwatch. It's gonna save our life. No, it isn't. Oh, this is concerning. Where oh, we need more nodes. <laughs> Three turns. I keep calling them nodes. I guess they're technically power relays, but I'm not seeing others, so. Could be out. Um. Hmm. I think leading with Siler is okay. He's got five health, and he's got a lot that he can do with the explosives. Roger that. And he did jump out the front. Cool. Okay. Dig I wonder if they're all holed up in this room. Moving to position. Oh, nice. We have another node down here. Okay. Orders confirmed. On the move. Let's keep going, I guess. Um, man, I wonder if we should just stack up on this door right now. We didn't reveal here. So we should be okay. Nice. Do we want to press our luck? You know what? Let's... Hmm. What I could do... Is we can move Bossman over here. And then... If he's in trouble, we can aid Protocol and we can use the... Teamwork thing. To pull him out of there. Or we could just use the pistol shot to take this out. You know what? Let's play it cool. We're very close to it. Come get some. Position confirmed. Okay. It's right there, man. Got some mad men. Oh, gross. Another sectoid? Whoa, shit. Oh, that's all of them now. Okay. Okay. Uh... I wonder... I think this is hitting him. Those tiles look lit from here. If I do that, I think he's getting hit. Even that, maybe. That might be cutting it pretty close. I wonder if we should go in here, disarm this, and get out, and like run, and get into a better position. Um... What is the best approach here? We actually have to get to this. Doesn't look like we can hack it. So... The other thing we could do is we could go in. We could hack this thing. I don't think the hacking ends our turn, but I think we need a turn to actually do it. I say hacking, but anytime we have to actually plant stuff. And then we could use the the uh, teamwork thing. To get him out. Moving to designated position. Oh, we have another node, but that's not going to matter. Let's plant the X4. 
Nice. Okay, so now I can use the frag. I can use this to deal the damage to three of these guys, maybe. And then we can use the bond thing to move him out. I hope. Oh, this is so messy. See, if, if I go right there... I don't know if that sectoid's hit or not. But to be fair, we might be able to deal with their psionic stuff more than dealing with these guys' shots. Maybe. I think we want to be sure... Something like that. I'll move as far to the left as I can. This is for you. Hopefully this isn't a big whiff. It's really hard to see how this is gonna hit. Yeah, fuck. I figured that might happen. Okay, it did hit him. Oh, I think he took damage from being from falling on him. Oh, and actually, oh, this could even work even better. So teamwork, I don't think it ends the turn. We if we use it on the first fear. one. So we can use, oh shit. Uh, we can get him out. I think what we really want here is we want to take down the, the off, or the soldiers. I think that's what we really want. Because more than likely, they're going to resurrect, right? We also have this. Um, I'm thinking about moving Bridget in. She might be able to flank him. Because then we can move up Sophia to take this spot. We could also... It's just the pistol shot. But if we end up using this grenade, that pistol shot could be all we need. But then we still have this guy, which we could try and just have a shoot. We could try to just shoot him from here. And if he hits him, he's dead. But if he misses him, he's flanked. He's got five health. He would have to do five damage to him, which could argue Maybe. Plus, we could aid protocol. Fuck, it's risky, but I just want to get out of here ASAP. Um. Headed there now. And, uh, no, this, he's still exposed, doesn't really matter. The way. Okay. I'm committed now. Let's go, Mike. Oh, Enemy shit. That hurts. We are flanked. But I'm going to aid protocol, and these guys are more than likely going to resurrect or try to mind control, so... <sighs> oh, 
fuck yeah, nice shot, dude. Hoo hoo! Okay, and now we may we may actually be able to kill him. Moving on target location. Okay. No! Ah! Shit! We uh, damn it! He got us. He played us good. He played us good. Son of a bitch. Oh, the son I thought for sure that they wouldn't do that, but hey. Frick. Okay, one down. All things considered, that's not bad in this scenario. Um. Moving out. Damn it. Oh, that sucks, but... Gotta do what we gotta do. Could use some ammo over here. And to take down our Ranger, too, that's gonna hurt us a lot. Heading to that location. 37. 32. That's interesting. Now he's half cover. 61. Do we go for the kill? Oh! Enemy down. Oh, shit. That sucks. We lost one. And right at the end. Oh, the sectoids. I was like, for sure they're going to resurrect somebody. For sure. Okay, well, first casualty. It's time to take Earth back. Let's just... I think we could randomize these. And just go for it. Maybe something a little less proud. Because we did lose somebody. Justice for East Asia. Wow. Oh, that was a tough call. I think... You know, hindsight being 2020. Who were present during today's dissident attack? We could have. To peacekeepers for processing. We could have left her at the door and taken the same grenade shot. But I did not think that there was the the window to the right as well. That was um, unfortunate, but it happens. Man down. 80% successful shot percentage. Pretty good. Pretty good. But a lot of it was flanked, so that kind of makes sense. Uh, but we did lose our Ranger. That's a tough loss right off the bat, because that's a lot of power output. I didn't catch if these guys got promotions, but... Oh, what's this? Memorialize? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That is really cool. O'Reilly, it was a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. You saw that uh, Drake was tired, so you can see this here. Um, we'll take a look at him after. Kestrel did get a promotion. Seven kills, two missions. So now we have medical protocol or combat protocol. Um, I typically always go medical protocol. But I'm going to try and play a bit more aggressive. And I'm going to go combat protocol in this scenario. Now, how many times do we see enemies with like one or two health left? And it's like, it's super questionable. All right. Well, O'Reilly, sorry. In hindsight, it could have been prevented. But in the moment, it felt like that was the best decision. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, 
I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Objective added. Okay, contact the resistance to the Black Site region. Research resistance communications. Fly to the Black Site region. Make contact. Hello, We're making progress, Commander. Commander. Here's our engineer. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. Low supplies. Now that we have Makes more sense. On the engineering team, we can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. Yes, we should we can. keep looking for more recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. Commander, so far I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. If we clean this stuff out, we could probably use this space for a new facility. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, let's take a look at... Uh, here, so Siler Drake is tired for eight days, which means reduced will. Uh, if we take... Siler out. Uh, we still have our full health and everything, but our will continues to drop. And if it keeps Advanced going down, I think they're tired for even longer. So we probably want to give them a rest. But I doubt our that said, will have any he's our grenadier, which is pretty important early. Especially since he's not. Commander, we have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. Okay, so we do have the rookies, but we also have supplies now, and I think in this scenario, supplies Avenger is a little bit more important. New course. You could argue that getting free rookies means we don't have to spend supplies on them in the future, but right now, this is certainly something we could utilize. We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. Yes, we did. Okay, so weapon upgrades. And now we have mag weapons available. Uh, experimental weapons would open up the bolt caster and that kind of stuff, which could be nice. Do we want to go resistance communications? Materials? I'm not really going to build any defense yet. Mostly relying on grenades. Hmm. Let's go uh, communications. We'll research immediately. Actually, from my own experience, Advent generally deploys heavy security. Rather than oh yeah, because this will be clear, and then we could okay. Primary Let's take it. At least the ones I had. Just give the word, and I'll get started, Commander. All right. I'm hoping we get through eight days. This was seven to scan. Strategic eight days would mean we could take out our located. grenadier again. Scientist, hell Avenger yes. Plotting new course. Sorry, rookies. We'll hit you up later. Hello. Trusting John. The skirmishers are Advent. Here we go. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You take their side after all we've seen these years. Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk out. 
<laughs> Here we go. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice, quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we oh, boy. on this one, Commander. <laughs> Good luck. All right. I hate to ask, but it looks like I don't have much choice. Think you can help us out? Yeah, we'll do it. Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. Uh, I think we've worked past the fatigue part, so... Each faction has agreed to... Oh, right, we only take two anyways. Or we send two teams of two. Right. Hopefully we did this at the preview. Hopefully enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration yeah. of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. One day? Oh, that's risky. All right. I think we'll do one of each. I'm going to take a grenade here. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go like this for the first group. What was the weapon add-on that we got? We, oh, we didn't find anything. Jeez. All right. Next squad. We bring Sophia and Falstro. Sophia's not bonding with anybody right now, unfortunately. Uh, cohesion is and compatibility is really low across the board. So I'm hoping that maybe her and maybe 420 can chill her out a little bit. Um, We'll have to hope. But, uh, yeah, okay. I guess we're going to take the break here. When we come back, um, we're going on our first War of the Chosen mission to try and get these guys to become friendly. And maybe we recruit our first uh, faction soldier. That would be sweet. So, thank you guys so much. We did lose somebody. We had our first casualty. That's going to happen, man. Uh, that caught me completely off guard. I think, uh, in hindsight, there's a couple of things I would have done differently, but... I played the odds against the against the sectoid and it bit me in the ass. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll come back. It's better to lose them now than later, I guess, which sucks. But Operation Lost and Abandoned coming up. Wish me luck. See you guys soon. Take care. Bye.